What's up everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create professional invoices for your business and track your business expenses and uh, deals using Zoho Invoice which is a great and powerful free platform online platform that allows you to uh, create invoice and uh, payment uh, for your payments on your business and so on. So here I have uh, the Zoho uh, invoice homepage that's zoho.com slash invoice or you can uh, search type in the search bar like Zoho invoice and click on the first result. So here uh, if I scroll down a bit I can get like an overview of the platform and it's uh, like uh, main features here. So like I can track my expenses, I can track my uh, like deals and uh, dates for the expenses, I can create professional invoices and so on. So uh, in order to start here, let's go ahead and uh, sign in or sign up if you uh, do not have an account. So I will click here to access Zoho invoice. And here you um, will be signed in with your uh, email that you already signed in. If you are signed in or if you signed up to a different Zoho uh, service, since uh, Zoho is like suite of service. So my organization name, let's uh, how to simple industry. Um, okay, let's choose financial services, organization location. Okay, uh, let's choose. United States, USA, gay okay, state, um, let's use anything for now. Currency, US dollars, time zone, okay, is your business liable to collect sales tax? No, okay, managing invoice. You can here, if you are using a different platform to manage your invoices, you can choose it here. For now, I'll leave it as it is. Okay, let's click on get started. And once you finish the uh, sign up process here, you can uh, it will redirect you to uh, your home page or your uh, main dashboard. Um, here you have like a few steps to finish setting up. So like a, choosing a template, so invoice template, you have many templates to choose from. Let's stick to the standards for now. And uh, on the right, it'll show like a preview of uh, this invoice. Okay, you can choose different templates to view how they will look like. Okay. Okay, let's say I like this one, the compact one, the colors, okay, and save and proceed. Okay, portal name, okay, save and proceed. Okay, um, enable additional modules that you may use this setting can be changed at any time. Okay, um, let's start invoicing. And once I finished uh, these questions, these uh, setup uh, steps here, I am uh, redirected to my main dashboard. So here I have my main dashboard, the current overdue. Of course, uh, I haven't had any uh, like uh, transactions yet or any invoices yet. So the total is like zero top expenses, projects and so on. So here I have a home, the home or my main dashboard. Uh, I have customers. Here I can add or view my customers. I have items, quotes, invoices, payment received, expenses, time tracking, reports, and so on. So uh, here let's go first and create a customer, then an item, and I will show you how to create an invoice and the process of creating one. And you can also go here from the plus on the at the top here, quick create. You can uh, quick create like uh, at customers, quotes, invoices, and so on. So let's add a customer or create a customer first. Okay, here you can view your uh, customers or uh, import them using Zoho CRM, G Suite and Office 365. So let's create a new customer. Okay, customer type, business individual. Let's uh, click on individual, primary contact, uh, salutation, let's say Mr. Uh, first name Bruce, last name Wayne. Okay, company name Wayne Enterprises. Okay, uh, the customer display name Mr. Bruce Wayne. Currency is dollars. Customer email Wayne. Okay, and you can add here the uh, work phone and the mobile number. Now let's edit the other details or add, fill in the other details like the payment terms. 
uh, due on receipt okay enable portal you can the portal language and the address here you can uh, add an address for uh, this uh, contact or uh, for this customer with the code and everything contact persons here you can add a contact person like uh, the uh, last name the first name and so on as i told you the custom field and remarks so for now let's um let's save the new customer and as you can see here now i can uh, click here to create a new customer and here I can create a new transaction like invoice, customer payment, quote, expenses, recurring and project and so on. And here I can edit the info or attach a file. Now, um, here I have the contact or the customer with all the details uh, shown here. Okay. And I can view the comments or write comments, uh, view the transactions uh, between me and this uh, contact, mails and statements, and so on. So. Um, here let's uh, create here we can uh, like quickly create a new code or a new invoice however let's first create a new item so new item okay here i have all my items shown let's click on the new here the plus icon new to create a new item so item name let's say service type um here, if you have a physical product or like a digital here, let's say pieces since it's a digital product, I sell it for 100 United States dollars. And for the description, this is a service, okay? Now here we forgot to change the service type to service. Okay, now let's click on save. Okay, now we have uh, a product. Now let's go ahead and create an invoice. We can create it from here in the invoices go and view our invoices and create a new invoice from here or here so let's create a new invoice now uh, select or add a customer we will select the customer that we added okay invoice the invoice name it will be automatically generated based on the number of invoices okay order number uh, you can here paste the order number from your uh, store from the order from store invoice date it's set for today uh, terms uh, due on receipt or you can change you can add a due date so let's do end of the next month salesperson you can add here salesperson add a subject for the invoice okay and here uh, with the item we can click here to select the item or add an item so I'll select the service that I added okay here uh, pieces you can add more than one item if you want to so uh, let's say I want to sell two of these services. So each is for a hundred dollars. So the total is like 200 and I get here like an overview. It's like $200. I can add a discount if I uh, want to do a discount for this client. So let's add a 20% discount. It will subtract it and it'll give me the total here. So uh, I can here add terms and conditions i can upload a file and i can add a payment gateway so like with credit cards visa, visa mastercard and so on and now when i finish i can save as draft or i can save and send it to the customer so or i can cancel it so let's save it as a draft for now okay the invoice has been created and as you can see here it creates the invoice with the template or the design that i chose it looks very professional i can save it or print it and send it to the customer whenever I want. So that's how easy it is to uh, use Zoho uh, invoice to create professional invoices for your business.